What's up guys, let's check out the music controlling app, Flutter. Okay, so Flutter is meant to be this really cool app that lets you control uh, Spotify or iTunes by using hand gestures which are detected by your webcam. So if I click on the app here and open it, uh, you can see that we do get a little menu bar um, widget or menu bar icon there. And if you can see it, the light for the IMAX webcam is actually on right now. And if we go down here, when you first open Flutter, you get this um, little uh, tutorial explaining what it does and uh, how you can use it. Alright, so um, I have just gone through the uh, very quick and easy uh, tutorial process that Flutter provides you with when you first start it up. Basically all it does is it just tells you to hold your hand up to start playing music, hold your hand up again to stop playing music, and then at the end, it'll. Uh, what it does is it actually presents you, like the images that it collected and whether it recognized the gesture or not. And then it just basically asks if you want to anonymously send data to it to um, help improve its gesture recognition. Alright, so I guess the um, only way to test whether Flutter actually works or not is to just um, try it out. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to switch here into iTunes and I've just got a piece of music paused right now. I'll hold my hand out in front of the iMac to get it to start playing the music and then hold it up again to get it to stop playing the music. So let's try it out. And as you can see, it has started playing music. I don't know if you can hear it or not, maybe if I turn it up. So you can see it is playing music now. And if I want to pause the music, all I do is just hold my hand up again. And as you can see, it has stopped. Alright, so as you can see there, the Flutter app worked very well, and might I just say, I'm really blown away by that. That is just really cool. So proceeding on, you can see here, as I mentioned before, that it does give you a menu bar icon. So if we click on that, we have a couple of options. Now the first option here is turn camera off. Now the reason why that option is there is because whenever the Flutter app is running, you'll see that the um, green LED for the camera is always on, which means that the camera is on because it has to be on in order to be able to detect, uh, to detect your gesture at any time while iTunes or Spotify is running. So if you click on turn camera off, the uh, Flutter app icon kind of uh, grays out and the camera turns off as the menu option suggests. So we'll turn the camera back on and prevent you with a message saying you are now controlling iTunes. So if we click on it, the next option is auto start on login and as the name suggests what that'll do is it'll just um, you know turn, turn flutter on when you turn on your computer just like uh, other apps. If we have report a mistake as the name suggests you know if it doesn't do something correctly you can click on that and send some feedback. Gesture tutorial. If you click on that, it opens up the original um, window that you get when you first open Flutter. So um, you can always go back to that if you want to see something again for some reason. Send a suggestion. If you click on that, it'll actually open into mail and it will um, start composing an email to send back to um, Flutter App's feedback address. What else do we have here? We've got an about section, which gives you a little window there telling you about uh, Flutter. So, okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. It's actually an alpha. So, uh, for an alpha build of an app, that is actually really cool. And then, last but not least, you always have the option to quit Flutter. So, by now, you might be wondering, well, this is a really cool app, but how do I get it? Now it's really simple, uh, there are two ways you can do this and they'll, all, they'll both lead back to the same um, uh, place. So the first thing you can do is open up Safari and go to flutterapp.com and you can have a look at the website, it'll tell you, you know, how it does things and uh, all sorts of things and it's just really cool to just scroll through and see all the awesome HTML5 animations they have here. I, I just love it. And as you can see by this big download button, it says for Mac OS 10 10.6 Plus. So I'm sorry for you people that are still using Windows. Uh, this won't work for Windows, it'll only work on Macs. 
So if we click on that, what it'll do is it'll actually open up the App Store, the Mac App Store, and open it up to Flutter. So um, you, the other way is just to open it, open up the Mac App Store and just um, search for Flutter. And I have it installed here, the button says, but this is free, so that is pretty cool. Alright guys, so this has been an overview and demonstration of Flutter. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you.